Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day here on the homestead. A bit better than yesterday. It's been a weird week for weather here. This week we had Thursday, Friday, around 34, 35 degrees. If you live in this part of the world, you know that um, we've got some serious bushfires happening at the moment. About 20 houses have been lost, not far from here in the Gold Coast hinterland. So yeah, it's not good. It was windy, there was a big dust storm, so you couldn't see the mountains. It's hard to see, you know, sort of a couple of kilometers in front of you. Today, as you can see, beautiful day, out to see the mountains, clearly see the mountains today. Just a little bit windy, but a nice temperature to be out here. So today's plan is, it's something that I'm a little excited about because it's something that we've been looking at doing for quite a while, just sort of haven't got around to it with getting the, all the paddocks ready for the cows, etc. is to do our fruit forest. I'll show you the trees, what we've got, what we're gonna plant. Yeah, also a couple of other little projects that I've started to work on yesterday. Something that I'm looking at doing in the near future as well. So we'll go for a little wander. I can't remember if we've showed you before where our fruit forest is going, but at the moment we're going to plant some trees here. So we've got the shed here. Chicken coop there. So in between is where we're going to plant our fruit forest. Now at the moment, this little fella growing. I don't know if you know what that is. If you do, have a guess in the comments below. I'll let you know in the next video or at the end. We've been trouble growing that for quite a while now. Every time we put it in, something either eats it. It was growing really well there for a stage and then the kangaroos, uh, then the cows got to it and they ate it, replanted it. And then the, ca the kangaroos keep knocking it over and so a bit of a drama. But anyway, hopefully it gets there this time. This is the only tree we have at the moment growing in our fruit forest. If you can recognize that or not. This is a macadamia nut tree. It's been in the ground now for a little while. Um, hasn't done too much yet, but it's probably just a transplant and with, with winter around, they don't do much growing. So we'll see, now it's starting to warm up. We'll give it some, um, it's been getting a bit more water recently and I'll give it a fertilize to when I get these other trees in. So the plan is, you can see I've sort of marked out these sort of circles here. There's a couple here. So we've got two rows, they're about five meters apart. Now, because we're on clay soil, um, I've got to build them up. So like we did with the macadamia tree, it's sort of built up. So that's what I have to do because generally, most fruit trees don't like to be wet roots. They like free drainage. Um, so our clay soils, even though it drains, doesn't drain too bad, we haven't had a lot of rain to really test it. So. I'm going to build them up a good heap, mulch, and really, fruit trees are pretty hardy, so we'll see how we go. It's only the main thing I'm really concerned about is the wind, because obviously, as you know, it gets really windy here, so we'll see how they cope. But the macadamia nut tree is doing pretty good, so, so we'll get started on that in a minute. The other thing that I was working on yesterday, and again, it's something that's been going on for quite a while, well, since we had the shed built, really, so seven or eight months. Is the front of the shed so as you know it's excuse the mess the plan is to gravel all this because obviously when it gets wet in here it just it's real wet um, and it's the mud just sticks to your boots so so yesterday we um, dug out a little bit further so this will be as far as we come so it's about 11 meters out from the shed it's quite a big area so I'm going to plant uh, once we finish leveling it I'm going to drainage and put retaining wall along the edge here and a nice garden and yeah that'll be this area so it's going to happen over the next probably won't happen over the next couple of weeks but it's just one of those other little projects which i'm trying to sort of continually get on with now that the cows are sort of settled down and we don't have to build any more paddocks just for a while i'm um, just trying to spend some time doing a few other things in the area so and one thing I am sort of looking forward to is, A, it'll make this area really, really nice, but I'm looking forward to getting some gardens in. I'm a bit of a horticulturalist, so I miss my gardens at the old place. Let's have some nice big tropical gardens. Obviously, that's not an option here. Because we don't have the water, horse, the water supply, can't really have a tropical garden out here, so I'm going to go for natives. And if you're not familiar with Australian natives, um, you can get some really nice, Australian native plants, which are drought hardy. Again, some of them like the clay soils, some of them like 
pre-draining. So again, I might have to bring in some dirt for some areas, um, but that's the plan. So I'll do a bit of prep work over here for the fruit trees, and then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So this is the first spot here, where you can see I've already prepped the area. So that it's gonna be about a meter and by meter diameter. I've cut the turf away, the grass away. Um, it's pretty hard, so what I'll do is I'll come back through here, turn it up a bit with the crowbar, I'll dig a bit of a hole here in the middle because the tree is obviously going to sit in the middle but I'm going to mound this up, probably stay high and then the tree will sit in that and that will give the roots room to develop before they hit any of this hard stuff. So I've got a few more spots here to prep like this so I'll do that and then we'll come back and look at planting. been away I've gotten some dirt I'm ready to plant these fruit trees out so there you can see I've dug it out dug a little bit in the, a little bit of a well in the middle there been down the paddock and got some cow manure and I've got some gypsum and I've got some organic fertilizer which I'll use when I plant them out okay so these are the two trees so this one here is actually a guava been doing really well at home where we've had it in a pot obviously still in the pot but it's sort of outgrown the pot it should have been planted ages ago um, and just with the hot and dry heat and the wind the last couple of days it's really shriveled up so I really need to get it in the ground but it'll come back you can see it's got a bit of new growth there it's actually been growing quite a lot since we've had it the other one is this the citrus this is a mandarin um, as you can see it's actually starting to fruit it's got a few little flowers on it in here once i plant that i'm actually going to um, pull them off so to focus on establishment and growth before it fruits once it's established and starts flowering again i'll probably let it flower let it develop a couple of flowers on it maybe not a heap because again this takes so much out of them when they go to fruit so I'd rather get it up to a decent size before it fruits too much, but obviously it'd be nice to have harvest some mandarins off it. I've also got a couple of others which I want to try and plant, but we'll see how time goes and see how far the dirt goes. So what I'm going to do first is get the manure and lay it on the ground with a bit of gypsum. Then I'll mound the soil up, plant the plant, a bit of fertilizer, and then if we've got any mulch left, I will mulch it as well. And I've got my little helper here today, Patricia. She's come up from the coop. Probably not going to be much help, but a bit of company. It's just what I do when I'm out. Try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at these beautiful stars. I want to drive a faster car. Nothing can break me. No, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me done the two mounds so you can see it's quite high but that's to allow the roots so I've done these two here I still have a little bit of dirt left over so I'll try it for a third in a minute but first of all I'm going to make sure the root balls are saturated so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is dunk this in here and just wait for all the air to go out Get all the air out, saturate the roots, is going to help it develop. So, what I'll do is I'll just bring him out, and let him drain, and in the meantime, while he's draining, I'm going to prepare this hole for him.
should be almost deep enough. I'll just check. Yep, that's deep enough. So what I'll do is I'm going to fill that hole with water. I'll just let that drain. I'll throw a bit of fertilizer around it. And in previous videos, this is a purely organic, just made up of different manures compressed into a pellet. Here we go, first plant, well, new planting of the fruit forest. It should have a pretty good root ball because he's been in here for so long. Now we'll say, here comes Uma. Check it all out. So I might add a little bit more dirt into there. Straightish. That look straight. Too bad. We'll just smooth him off up around the top. Just give him a flat ledge so water doesn't run away. And what I'll do is I'll just leave him for now. I won't give another water because I'll get the watering can and I'll put some um, go go juice in him to help him establish. Happy with that. As long as the chickens don't come in and I'll scratch it all. So, um, I'll now go on to and plant the other one. Okay guys, that's it for today. The sun's going down. Got the three trees in that I wanted to get in mainly. Ran out of mulch, but I'll come back later in the week and top them up. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a, I'm excited because it's a little it's something that we've been looking forward to starting our fruit forest. So now we just gotta wait for them to grow. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here in the homestead. Saya. 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 <laughs> see ya. Oh,